Good morning guys, before this video starts, I just wanted to give some first impressions and just explain to you what exactly is going on with this H1Z1 series. Now for those of you who don't know, H1Z1 is now available on the PS4 for free. Just go to the app, the app store, the PlayStation store, and you can see it right there. Go to the free tab, H1Z1 is like one of the first ones to pop up. So definitely go ahead, check it out for yourselves. I mean, it's free, and I'm pretty sure it's less than a 10 gig download, so it's not, not, not too big of a download either. Now H1Z1 has been out for a long time. Some argue that it's probably one of the very first Battle Royales that got popular uh, even before PUBG. Now, I spent a lot of time watching H1Z1. I used to watch Optic Big Time. I play this game all the time. Just myself, not really being too much of an online PlayStation or PC gamer, I never played it. I actually downloaded it months and months and months ago on my PC, uh, but I've never played it. And the same with PUBG. I never really watched PUBG because I didn't really, I didn't even like watching it, let alone playing it. But that's why when Fortnite came out on console, I jumped onto that. I absolutely fell in love with it immediately. Not only because it's a great game, but it was the first time I could play a Battle Royale on my beloved PlayStation. Now this H1Z1 is still in the beta, so there is a few little quirks and gimmicks. Well, not even quirks and gimmicks, but a few issues that they have. Um, the, it's, it's the beta though. You can't complain. Sometimes it's hard to find lobbies. Sometimes my game, it doesn't freeze, but like I can only use one of my analog sticks. Like one of them doesn't. It's not my controller, it's just it's in the beta. And it only happens to me once, but it is what it is. There's a few issues, that's all I'm saying. So keep in mind it's beta. Now with all of that being said, um, I don't know if I'm going to be continuing this. If you guys are interested and want to see me get better and play this game, let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely put some time into this. But if you guys really could care less about this game, I'm not going to put too much time into it. Because I personally really, really... <laughs> just playing this makes me understand how much I love Fortnite. But anyway, first impressions. So my first impressions of this game... Uh, it's it's very the mechanics are completely different than Fortnite, and I don't want to keep comparing the two because they're not the same. Other than their battle royales, other than that, they are completely different games. Obviously, H1Z1 does not have any building. It doesn't have things that are unrealistic, like jump pads and jetpacks. And it's mainly just to be more of a realistic battle royale. Now, for me personally, that gets a little bit boring. Um, I didn't. I found it like when I would kill people. It didn't. You didn't have that same like sense of accomplishment that you do when you're playing on Fortnite. Also, what I've noticed is I think there's going to be a 50-50, or maybe not even 50-50, but there's going to be people that are playing this game that you come up against. They're either really good because they've played H1Z1 on PC, and now they're playing it on PlayStation. They already know how the game works. They already know the mechanics. They already know how to shoot, what guns are good, things like that. And then you have people like me, which are complete noobs. So when you're playing this, you could come up against someone that's really good, or you could come up against somebody that's really bad. So it's kind of inconsistent in that way. And I know you can in Fortnite too. But I noticed in this one, it was it definitely showed a lot more. But anyway guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into this video. I just wanted to say, if it seems confusing, if I refer back to another game that you guys haven't seen. It's because the first game I actually played, unfortunately, when I went to edit the video, there was a lot of audio issues. It kept cutting out when I was speaking. It was very like, and I don't know why that was. I don't know if I had an update download in the background on my PC, which slowed down my recording software. I don't know. But unfortunately, the first ever video is not here. So, uh, but anyway, I'll explain a little bit more and enjoy the rest of the video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you want. Well, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to some more H1Z1. It's not even welcome back, it's welcome to H1Z1. So, first of all, guys, I've never played H1Z1 before. It is actually the very first Battle Royale game I ever watched. I used to watch Optic Big Timer, Big T, playing this. I used to, I loved it, sitting and watch his videos every single day when he uploaded them. I just thought it was awesome. I loved the idea of a Battle Royale, kind of like a Honda, a Honda, a Hunger Games type game. But I never played it because I was never really a PC gamer. So I didn't play this, I didn't play PUBG, and that's why I love Fortnite so much, because that was the first like Battle Royale that came out on console. Anyway, I digress. So as you can see, we have customized. So you can customize your character, kind of like Fortnite in a sense, where you can go into the locker and change a few things. Uh, but with that being said, Fortnite, oh sorry, H1Z1 does have a lot more things to customize. So for example, the gear. You can customize your hair, so your helmets, you can see all of these things. This, tell me this doesn't look pretty goddamn cool. Look at this skin. How do I click it? Look at that! I mean, I think outfits on Fortnite are kind of cooler. But, I mean, I haven't played this game yet. So, I am i can't. I don't want to give too much opinions before I even jump into it. But you can see here all of the things that you can customize. 
all the way down to the sunglasses there. Um, weapons, you can do different skins, but what I'm going to actually look at here is what guns are in the game. So there's the AK-47, we have the AR-18, a shotgun, a Hellfire SMG, a sniper, an M9 pistol, a revolver, a magnum, and a crossbow. Okay, so it looks like for me, I, I'm probably going to want one of these two. I'm just better with AR. I think I'm better. I may not be better. I may be better with pistols and things, but for me, the AK... Or the AR-15, but we're gonna find out, because we, I, honestly, this is my first game, you can see I'm level 1, I have 0 gold crowns or whatever they are, I have 0, I don't know, if you played H1Z1 and you know more than I do, I apologize for sounding like such a complete and utter newbie right now, but, I am, what do you want me to say? And for those of you who don't know, you have, you know, vehicles inside H1Z1, and all of these are different skins that you can put on your vehicle, so you can see, you can change the color of it, put the American flag on there, you get the idea, you can change it to whatever... Uh, you want, but we're not going to be doing that today. As you can see, they're all actually locked, and I think to unlock them, you need to go to crates and buy crates or play games. I'm not going to be buying any crates right now. I don't even know if I'm going to like this game, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Emotes. I'm pretty sure this is new. I'm pretty sure this did not come out in the PC version. But anyway, guys, enough of me talking about all of this stuff that's inside of the customized area. Let's go ahead and jump into a game. My very first game of H1Z1, my very first game, never played this game before in my life, I've watched a lot of it, but watching someone play, okay, so we have solos, duos, fives, which is different, because Fortnite obviously has squads, but it's up to four people, and then combat training, so combat training, I'm, let's be honest, I'm probably going to have to jump into that, but we're just going to jump straight into solo, because YOLO, why not? Alright, here we go, boys. We're finally into another game here. It kind of depicts where you're going to land. You don't really have a say in it. Uh, you just kind of... It throws you on a certain part of the map and says this is where you're landing. And that's... You can't really... You know, you can't manipulate your parachute too much. Really. To where you want to go. So... You... See, I can't even land in that building. I've landed on the top of a truck. Okay. So I need to get a gun before this guy. See how bad I am! Look at this! Alright, let's... How do I... How do I look at this guy's loot? Okay, that's what it did. Okay, so that's the thing. I keep hitting the wrong buttons because I'm used to Fortnite. But... Uh, I don't know what to say. I have no idea what to say. Uh, okay, so let's see what we have. L1 gives me this little menu here so I can see... Which guns I have. I should probably reload my shotgun. See, that's the one annoying thing about these things. Is it your controller just kind of... Okay, well that didn't do much at all, ladies and gentlemen. So we got a kill. It's our first, like, kill in-game. So I'm very excited. It looks like this... I hear someone coming. I hear someone coming. Where is this fella? What's he trying to do? Oh, there's two of them. So we got him weak, but I don't know if he's a good player. So here's the thing that's annoying me right now, and I'll talk about this a little bit more in depth in my first impressions, but it's kind of... I feel like a lot of people have came from PC to try this game out, right? No, what the hell. A lot of people have came from PC to try this game out, and people already know how to play this game. And then you got people like me, who have not a clue what I'm doing. Like, which is pretty blatantly obvious by watching this gameplay. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, they're just absolutely destroying me. So, it's hard. You can be going up a complete, against a complete... PS4 noob that's never played before, or you could be going up against a PC master race, which I doubt that that guy was. Alright, my body armor. I need new body armor, because he hit me. Do I need a backpack? I already have a backpack. I can, ah, I can carry one more thing. I need better armor though. As you guys can see, my armor is low. 
I would like an AR. An AR would be groovy. <laughs> but I, I, uh, there, it, there's no comparison between this and Fortnite in the sense that it's just not, it's not the same, guys. Don't compare the two. They're two completely different games. My boy want to come fight me? You don't want to mess with me. I got two kills, bro. Three kills on the board, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I'm a absolute god. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm terrible. Where's the door? Wasn't there a door here before? All right, we got another one. Everyone wants a little bit of this KGH action. Alright, I gotta move because the gas. Where? Didn't I have another. What's that? I'm pretty sure I had another vest. I just can't remember where it was. Didn't I throw a vest on the floor? Or was that a helmet that I did that with? Can't remember. Can't remember. But we're not doing bad. We're not doing bad. A little bit of combat training. And we should be a groovy. Three kills. Does it tell you? Okay, it does tell you. I have three kills, as you guys can see. Up there on the top left. 45 people left. I'm going to have to move. Zone advances. All right, we, we're pretty close, though, right? I think. I don't know exactly how this works. But I think... If it's anything like Fortnite, it won't advance too fast. Then I will be able to... The only problem is, I need to go east, west, I'm going the right way, right? This is so confusing. The map, for some reason, is just very confusing. Am I going in the direction that I should be? I don't know. I can't tell. I wish you would have an arrow like Fortnite does, where it says which way you're facing. Because I'm currently not in the safe zone. And don't know how to get out of it. Wait, just give me this car. Is it this way? No, it's this way. Come on! Is it my going the right way? It's all I'm trying to bloody see. That's so annoying. It needs an arrow pointing in which direction. Okay, I'm in the safe zone now. It needs an arrow to point in the direction of where the safe zone is. You can't be just doing me like this, game. You can't be like, I'm a newbie. I'm an absolute noob. Bombing zone in this game? That's what that sounds like. How do you use boost? Isn't there a way to use boost? Cannot switch seats. I wasn't trying to switch seats, if I'm being honest. I was trying to boost. <laughs> I know there's a... You cannot switch... I'm not trying to switch seats! I'm trying to boost. Okay, I can kind of see... Okay, I, the minimap, at least, has an arrow in which direction. I probably should have been looking at that, but I was looking at the big map. I'm not used to the minimap being down there in the bottom corner. All right. We have three kills, 37 people left. Do I think we're going to win this? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I don't. Pleasant? Is that Pleasant Park? Pleasant Valley. Okay. It seems to me like everyone's using the same gun. I can hear something going on over here, so we're just going to push it. Why? I have no idea. It seemed like a good idea at the time. We're in Pleasant Pa Valley. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, here's the thing. I don't know the map. I don't know really anything. It's f like I, uh, you know, I'm gonna hold my breath and I'm gonna not hold my breath. I'm gonna bite my tongue and I'm gonna talk about my first impressions later. It'll probably be at the beginning of the video. You guys have probably already seen my first impressions because I'll probably put it at the beginning of the video. Oh, I found a cop car. All right, he's boosting. 
How do I boost? Like, it's NOS, like, speed boost, and your exhaust goes, like, blue. Gas brake, throttle, boost. Okay, there we go. L1. There you go. See, you probably thought I was going crazy. Nope, look at this. <laughs> I'm a genius. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there's a guy right there. Was that a grenade launcher? Did he just friggin... I swear that guy just threw like a grenade launcher. All I heard was, and then. Poof. I'm not gonna push him just because I'm too scared. I got three kills, okay? I got three kills. I'll tell you one thing: it's not as satisfying. You know how on Fortnite, and I, I don't want to be that guy that's comparing the two because they're two different like battle royales. But on Fortnite, when you get a kill, it is so satisfying. It feels so amazing when you get a kill. But on this game, like those three kills, eh, it didn't feel that great. It didn't feel that great, but that's just one man's opinion on a game. We're almost in top 25 that uh, I don't know at all. So, is that guy still around here doing his little thing? No, he's bounced. All right, I probably shouldn't. That looks like a gas tank. I probably shouldn't crash into those very often. Safe zone. Right, we're still in the safe zone. It's getting pushed pretty goddamn tight here. I'm so happy that uh, Fortnite didn't like cave into the pressure of putting vehicles in the game. It's not as good. Pe Who's throwing lobbing grenades at me? Need to calm your ass down over there. So I need to think, like strategically, what do what does Big T do? Because he's the guy that I've watched play this game. That guy basically would just drive around until he found someone and then jump out and shoot at them. I, on the other hand, am not as good as that he is, clearly. Alright, so that's the supply drop. So you'll see a colour go up in the air over here. It's kind of like Fortnite as far as green, purple, and yellow like this. So. That's a legendary supply drop. So there's probably going to be a few people going towards it. I don't know what's going to be in it. But um, basically you have a green supply drop. Which is obviously the least. Okay there was someone just grabbed it. Green, purple and then this bad boy right here. Okay. My man's got a gun that is better than my entire history. On this game. He's lobbing grenades. Where's he gone? I don't know what gun that is, but it's better than the one I have, that's for sure. Where is he? There he is. Alright, there's another supply drop over here, though. Are we gonna get any of these, Drekken? I'm gonna go with no. Let's do a speed boost. What are the chances I'm gonna get out of here right now and get killed? I'm pressing triangle, it's not working. Okay. Was that a scar? Riot, Hellfire. Is it just an LMG? It's an LMG. Wait, give me that. Alright. Let's get out of here. We're in top 20, boys and girls! Alright, I got an LMG. I don't know if it's any good. It's short distance, long distance. I've not a clue, but it is legendary. So I'm excited for that. Can I, like, run this guy over? Nope. Alright, I'm not in the safe zone. I should probably move back to the safe zone. Is the storm coming in? Did you got this guy out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. I don't know if you can run people over in this game. He's not hitting my car, though. I need to get in the safe zone, which is over here! Hey, we're doing better than the, the first game I played. I didn't get any kills. So... The fact that the video got corrupted, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it being corrupted. This game, we got three kills, we got a supply drop. 
At least you guys can get a better idea. A better idea. A better idea of what this game is all about. I do want to build when I get into these gunfights, but gotta remember, don't build. How important is high ground? There's a guy right there. <laughs> ah, we're out of here. We're boosting. He's got the high ground. I don't know how important the high ground is in this game. Damn it! He got in his car and just moved out of my way. Oh! I'm, I'm just clearly not good at this game, okay? I'm just clearly not good at this game. I want to get better. 15th place, not too bad. I want to get better, but I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. <laughs> I'll give you my first impression. You've already seen my first impressions. But basically, what I just to uh, alliterate, I think that a lot of people from the PC are probably coming over to the PlayStation to test it out. If they've been playing this game on PC, they already know the maps, they know the guns, they kind of know the mechanics of how this game works. So, you're going to be playing against a bunch of noobs and a bunch of people that already know the game from PC. Uh, so, that sucks. But if you get better yourself, you're going to be playing against a bunch of noobs. I don't know. Um, yeah, like Fortnite, I liked it because when I jumped on, everyone was a noob. So, we all learned together. But in this game, I feel like it's going to be a little bit more of a learning curve. I feel like the mechanics in this game are a little bit more choppy compared to Fortnite. I like how Fortnite's very smooth. And this game seems very, its I mean, it's supposed to be more realistic, right? So, it's not as cartoony. Um, but overall, my opinions, will I be playing this game a lot? I don't know. If you guys are interested in it, I want to see some more gameplay, I will definitely jump on and try and get better. But if you guys could care less, <laughs> I don't know if I'll keep playing it. Um, but either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if your faces are new. And I'll see you later on today with some Fortnite.